uh, something a bit special now. We're going to celebrate with the, uh, the Artist Loyalty Award, which uh, tonight has been created to celebrate a music business person who has shown unwavering commitment to an artist throughout both the ups and downs of their career. And tonight, we happen to be recognizing someone who's very much enjoying an up right now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, to tell you a little bit more about our winner tonight, please welcome to the stage a genuine hero of mine, I have to say. And he's just scored his first UK number one album in 16 years. Huge arena tour just been announced. You know his name, make some noise for Craig David. I know this is A&R Awards and Colin originally came down to Southampton back in 2000 to Holyrood Estate, a little boy with a dream and hopes and literally told my mum and my grandma at the time that I can't promise your son success, but I promise whatever happens I will protect him, I'll give him the environment to do what he does already at this point, and a couple of tunes, you know, like walking away, a little film me in, a little something. Like um, <laughs> It's a couple of tunes, you know what I mean? Seven Days came a little later on, I'll give you that one. That was, that was the, the A&R in you that came out, so yeah, you know what I mean? Um, but the thing that I've seen over 16 years of, of being together is not only a, a friendship forming, um, is, is a manager who held me down in periods when it wasn't always success. It wasn't always like arena tours and number one albums. We're talking a period in my career where you're not getting the calls back from the record companies like you used to, you know? You're, you're not signed. Um, and you're trying to find that inspiration. You need someone to give you that environment to just keep on saying to you, you know what, I got you, don't worry. Don't worry, just keep. The same reason I, I signed you back in the day to Wildstar Records and then ended up being your manager is because I believe in you as a songwriter and I know that if you keep writing those songs, three minutes will change your life, but just stick in there with me. And there was moments where I was like doubting myself and he's stuck in there, he's stuck in there. So when I come up on stage tonight with that amazing intro, I appreciate it by the way, of an arena tour, a number one album, I am so proud and happy for you, Colin, man, because without you, I wouldn't be standing up here doing what I'm doing. I love you so much. I've been through, I've seen so many things in my career. I've seen, oh yeah, you're the hottest thing ever and you're the coldest thing, and you've held it down all the way through that. You've brought great people into Gem Music, group as a management company, Matt Dodds, Alex Fisher, Lucy Kilner, who have given that youth to the whole thing. Don't, 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 don't take it any offense, but you know what I mean? Just to give you a little, as soon as they said, you know what, yeah, the big nasty thing's working, you, you jumped all over it, don't get it twisted. I mean, when man's known about grime, when he knows big nasty and he's like, yeah, he knows all about it, that's Colin Lester. Don't think it's just the brand new heavies and the Arctic Monkeys and Travis, but let's not forget huge acts that you've had as a, as a manager and have broken internationally and sold millions and millions of records. So I'm so thankful to have you as a manager, as A&R, as a friend. I love you so much and to be here with your family and so many people in this room that have seen you hold it down, stick to your guns. Amanda, your, your amazing wife, who when you go home to at night, which usually is like 10, 11 o'clock at night, it seems how you, the way you work here, yeah? for you to hold him down, and to give him the balance. Because Colin's, Colin's no joker, you know what I mean? He, go, he goes in hard, you know how Colin is. There's no, there's no games around here. And that's what I love, because I'm not very a confrontational person. And I asked Colin, I said, how do you handle this confrontation? Because I don't like having to tell someone about themselves. But as a manager, and as someone who takes this seriously, I will tell someone if they need to be told. I'm not about any joking business around here. And that's why I love you, because your, your integri integrity, your artistic, control and understanding to keep it young and fresh, bring people in, and I love you from the bottom of my heart. You come up and do your thing. That a and loyalty word goes past awards. You've got my, my, my heart from day one, so thank you so much. and welcome to you all, the Sheraton Hotel. No, that's not my speech. Um, I've actually written some words because if I ad-libbed, 
um, I'd probably make a lot of enemies. Um, so I've decided to just very simply put it down in words on how I feel. Um, I've been in this business a long time. I've seen a lot of people come and go. Um, and I think I am blessed to be able to make a living out of something that I would have done for nothing when I left school or got thrown out of school. So there's something for me that's quite ironic about being presented with this award because anyone who knows me well knows that there are two mantras I live my professional life by. And the first one is the worst thing about being an artist manager is the artist takes 80% of the income. And the second is, if you want loyalty, buy a dog. <laughs> Which is not always the case. Seriously, I am flattered and I'm honored and humbled to receive this award. It really is a testament to the fact that if an artist and a manager work as a team, amazing things can and do happen. Everyone knows that Craig went through some difficult professional period of his career. And the fact is, now he's back on top, it's down to his amazing self-belief. As an artist, you have to believe in yourself. And as a manager, you have to believe in your artists. I never doubted Craig's ability to get back where he deserved, not for one second. We've worked together since Craig was 17, and I saw him in him then what I see now an incredible talent and an incredible human being. I remember standing in the front room of his council flat, as he's just described, in Southampton and promis promising his mum and his nan that I would look after him. The fact is, after 16 years since, we've looked after each other and that's the key. Artists and managers need to be a team. So I'd like to say a very special thank you to Craig for being loyal to me. We know that artists are not always loyal. Blame the manager, blame the record company, blame whoever it is, but they never blame the music. And you know what? We know that, we accept it, it's the business we work in. But we love it, it's what we do. And as, as we all know, a hit has many, many relations and a stiff is an orphan, you know. So I'd like to say a very special thank you to my team at GEM Music Group, Alex Fisher, Managing Director, um, Matt Dodds, Lucy Kilner. They've been amazing, they are amazing, and they are like my family. I'd like to thank Andy and Tim for this award. I will treasure it, and congratulations to everyone who's won and wins something tonight. It really is fantastic that you're being recognised for the great work that you do. And finally, I'd like to say a huge thanks to my beautiful wife Amanda, who does put up with me, and Craig's not far wrong about it. Um, so thank you for being, for putting up with me, I guess. And to all my family, to Jack, Emily, Jerome, Ollie, and of course, my loyal dog, Stanley. Um, I love you. I'd like to dedicate this award to my father, Harry Balsam, who was a Holocaust survivor and is responsible for me never giving up. He taught me to have faith and always to maintain hope, however impossible that may seem. And that's why he survived and that's why I'm here. This is for you, Dad. I love you. But, but to everyone here, I would like to say this. Always remember that we are nothing without the artists that we work with. Nothing. Thank you.